Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We are starting physiology and in physiology we will start with the cell physiology. In the cell physiology, first of all cell membrane is most important part of cell. And in the cell membrane there is a lipid bilayer proteins and intercellular connections. Lipid bilayer has phospholipids which have a glycerol backbone which is the hydrophilic water soluble head and two fatty acid tails which are hydrophobic water insoluble hydrophobic tails face each other and form a bilayer lipid soluble substances like oxygen carbon dioxide and steroids hormones these cross the cell membrane because they can dissolve in the hydrophobic lipid bilayer and water soluble substances like sodium chloride glucose water these cannot dissolve in the lipid of the membrane but may cross through water filled channels or pores and may be transported by carriers proteins are either integral proteins or peripheral proteins integral proteins are anchored and embedded in the cell membrane through hydrophobic interactions these span the cell membrane and these include ion channels, transport proteins, receptors and GTP binding proteins. Peripheral proteins are not embedded in the cell membrane. They are not covalently bound to the cell membrane components and they are loosely attached to the cell membrane by electrostatic interactions. Intercellular connections are either tight junctions or gap junctions. Tight junctions are also called zona occludens. These are attachments between cells, often epithelial cells, and these may be an intercellular pathway for solutes depending on the size, charge, and characteristics of the tight junctions. They may be tight, impermeable, impermeable as in the renal distal tubule or leaky permeable as in the renal proximal tubule and gallbladder and gap junctions are the attachments between cells that permit intercellular communication for example permit current flow and electrical coupling between myocardial cells